friends welcome back to my channel so today's video as you can tell is going to be a wedding series video and uh, I'm very excited about this I love uploading these getting these out of the way not because I don't enjoy them but because for me it's like a checklist and as soon as I upload one of the, these videos it's like boom something else is planned and out of the way and we're one step closer to actually getting married. So for this video, I didn't really know how to go about it, but I knew I wanted to talk to you guys about the bridesmaid dresses that I chose. And then of course, I want to kind of give a little mini intro to each of the girls um, because I think that they're special and just as special as Pat to me because they're standing up there with us. They support us in our relationship every single day and they're just the best people. But they're not the only people and I really wanna make that clear. Um, I've showed many friends in my life and I don't want um, certain people that are not up here to make it seem like we're not friends anymore. If you guys get married or have gotten married, you know how bridesmaids can kind of be tough to pick because you wanna just include everybody that's meant so much in your life and it's tough. So I have a whopping eight of them and they are amazing. One thing I know I did want is I wanted the dresses to not be super fancy over the top. I just wanted them to be kind of casual, of course gorgeous, and I wanted them to fit each of the girls the way that they wanted to. I wanted them to feel really comfortable and pretty. I feel as though you guys could guess where I decided to look first and I know a lot of people usually go to bridal stores to look for bridesmaid dresses but your girl went on Reformation. You guys know I absolutely love Reformation. I think that they have the cutest clothes. It's just the best style and I feel like universally a lot of people really like them. And like I said, one of my big check marks was I wanted the girls to feel comfortable and after going on Reformation, they had so many different styles of like the same color dress. And I knew I didn't want all the girls in one style of dress just because Everyone feels different in different dresses, and I, like I said, I wanted people to feel comfortable. So I was like, Reformation, it is. So we're gonna start off with the maid of honor, of course, and it is Carrie. You guys know and love her. Um, she's been in pretty much all of my wedding series videos, and then of course my vlogs. She's just been around for so long. She's such an amazing friend. Um, and I couldn't think of anybody better to pick as my maid of honor and not because she's just really good at it um, she's just an incredible friend in general and to me she's like a sister so i just i didn't even like think twice so for carrie when i spotted the winslow dress i knew right away that it was hers um because it just is carrie in a dress she wears a lot of tops that are similar to that she loves flowy she has a larger chest so a wrap style like this is going to be really really flattering and easy for her to wear i think she just looks stunning and i can't wait to see her the day of because she also i have major hair envy with her and she's just gonna look incredible Moving on to Alexandra, I don't think a lot of you guys know who she is. She has not been on my channel a lot. It's not her favorite thing in the world to be on camera. I've known her since high school and we were just inseparable. And I mean, like we would get mistaken for each other at work. We were just never apart. Um, we did everything together. She's one of those people that I could go years without seeing and when we see each other again, it's like nothing changed and I just really value people like that. I just think she has such a genuine kind heart and uh, I am lucky to have met her. For her dress, I knew right away, just like Carrie's, that when I saw the chamomile dress, that was her dress. Uh, it just screams her in so many aspects. She's not a very over the top frilly, girl in the sense of how she dresses so I knew this one she was just gonna feel the most comfortable in and I showed it to her and she was like um I'm obsessed with it so I got really lucky with that that she liked it right off the bat next up we have Christine and she's another bridesmaid that I don't think a lot of you guys know um but I've known her since sixth grade but we didn't get close until probably end of senior year no like senior year and then mainly in college we decided to dorm together uh, freshman year in college and then we moved in together and lived together up until I moved here with Pat. She was there when I met Patrick, she was there when I was getting ready for my first date that she still jokes about with him um, and she was there through guys before him. She's been through it all with me and she is just the sweetest, kindest person. She's one of those friends which I hope a lot of you guys have in your life because you just want to protect them. They're so sweet always and they just mean so well and they're just great to have around pat adores her she's amazing for her dress she told me that she really likes herself in off the shoulder things which i get 
I agree. She really liked the, what is it called? The poppy dress. And I think it's perfect for her. I think it's so cute. It has the off the shoulder element with the draped sleeves, um, but it does have the spaghetti straps for a little added support. And then the dress itself is just so beautiful, so flattering. I think she looks amazing in it. Next up we have Kara, and I love Kara. So Kara and I recently have gotten super close. She is actually Carrie's friend from home, and she moved here a couple years ago, and ever since then we've been getting closer and closer through the years, and I consider her a best, best friend now. I think she is one of the coolest people I've ever met. She is such a light. When she walks in a room, she just lights it up. She's means her shit and she is just one of those people that I really admire and I love to have around. Pat and I truly, truly enjoy her company. Her dress was switched once only because Reformation added a few new dresses for the new season and she was saying that she really liked kind of like the lower V style dresses. So when I saw the Cal Kalili? Kalili dress. Yes, Kalili dress. I was like, listen, Kara, you're going to look banging in this dress. You have to wear this. And she loved it. I think she looks amazing. It's such a perfect style for her. I love that you can see her tattoos. Moving on, we have Christina. Now, Christina has been around for a minute. I actually met her freshman year in college. We met at dance team tryouts. And she, her and I have been through it. I love her so much. She was actually the one that encouraged me to start my YouTube channel. I always say it was my one of my roommates in college and that's Christina she's the sweetest person ever again she really truly loves people and you feel it when you when you know her like when you, she cares about you you know she cares about you and it's something that I really really love about her she's wearing the butterfly dress and if this isn't a Christina dress I don't know what it is it has the ruffle off the shoulder sleeves again she was another person that requested an off the shoulder um, and then it has the ruffle, is ruffle even the right word? I don't know, um, bottom to it. Now we have Alex and Tomo, and you guys all know her um, if you've watched any of my travel videos, really. She, I feel like I've known her for a very long time, longer than I realistically have, because when you travel with someone, listen, you get to know the ins and outs, you know all of it. So I, her, Pat, Dan, and I have gotten so close. We were in their wedding this last October. She's so kind, so sweet, and does anything for anyone, probably to a fault. Girl, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but she is just the sweetest person ever, and if you are lucky enough to be her friend, you will know it. Her dress, I also knew right off the bat, was going to be the Verbana dress. And if this isn't an Alex and Tomo dress, I don't know what is. Off the shoulder, ruffles here. She wears tops like this. Like I feel like this is her and she looks amazing in it. She's so cute. Now we have another Alex and I don't think you guys know her super well. She's been in a few of, few videos of mine, um, but I've known her for so long. Like I don't even know, probably middle school. Alex is a spitfire and I mean that in the best way. I think she is just not your cookie cutter girl and I think she's awesome. I've always said that about her. I don't know what it is but we just, our personalities click on such a different wavelength. We are so sassy to each other. We call each other the worst names but in the most loving way possible. I feel like if you have a friend out there you know what I mean by that. For Alex's dress, when I saw the peppermint dress, I thought the ruffles and the low V was going to look amazing on her body. So I texted her it and she was like, yes, I love it. It's great. In the cutaway clips, the dress that she is wearing is a little too big. So we actually ended up getting a different size. So keep that in mind. They also all have to get them hemmed except for Carrie, except for the New York girls. And last, but certainly not least, we have Julia. So Julia, we have known each other for a while, even before I moved to New York, because she was Carrie's roommate. Um, so every time I would come out to New York to for work and see Carrie, I would see Julia. So we probably got the closest over the past year, year and a half. I knew for a fact we were gonna be like slowly becoming friends, just because our personalities are that way. We're kind of like hard exteriors, and then when you get through, you're like, yes, we mix, we mesh really well. I would be so pissed if I didn't get to know her the way I did this past year and a half because having her as a friend is bomb and Pat and I love her to death and we love hanging out with her. So love you, Ju. <laughs> 
So Julia is in the Ingrid dress, and this one is another one that I knew screamed Julia. Oh, I got a hair in my eye. I knew she was gonna love it, mainly because of the neckline. The square neckline is very much her. Um, it's like tops that she usually wears, and then having the slit at the bottom makes it a little bit more breathable. It's just a very cool, classic, simple dress, and to me, that was like Julia's dress. So, now that you've seen the dresses, and you know the girls that are standing up there with me, we are going to New Orleans for my bachelorette party, and by the time you're seeing this, I will be on a plane, and I will be on my way there, so make sure you follow me along on Instagram just to see like the photos and the snaps that we do, um, or Instagram storying. Um, but I am going to vlog it, so you will get a vlog um, in the coming week, the next week. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too all over the place. I really never sit and just like blabber on, especially talking about how much I love my friends. I hope this video wasn't boring. I hope it, you know, maybe just inspires you to just hug your friends a little bit more. You know what I mean? But yeah, thank you so much for watching and loving these wedding series videos. I really hope you're enjoying them so far. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.